Back up to tech notice, my friends. It's blue over here because inside there we have a team blue chip, i5-11600K, one of the best processors in the world in terms of six core performance. The biggest question is, as a creator, I wanna know how good is it in playing back some of the footage on Premiere Pro, like timeline performance, can I edit 4K, 6K, 8K, 12K, Red Raw, Canon Raw, normal H.264 or Fire Codex? Well, that's exactly why you're here. We're gonna find out. It's 15.4.1, build six, whatever that means. So this is 10-bit 420. Okay, 420 is hardware accelerated. So if you've got a GPU, you it's playing it back quite smoothly. So uh, let's put this full resolution here as well. So we can easily see this. I mean, this is quite buttery smooth. No problem over here. I'm pressing play and it's doing it fine. And look at that. It's actually using the Intel iGPU here as the uh, like video decoding rather than this uh, NVIDIA RTX 3070, which is interesting. So if you go to 4 to 2 10 bit 4K, everything's 4K. We don't do 1080p because that would be very easy for the computer. So this goes straight on the CPU. It plays back on the CPU. If you press play, it's a little bit of a lag, like waits a little bit and then plays back. This is SI, so less compressed codec over here but still when we press play, it can do that. 422, there's plenty of CPU power to play around that. And if we click around the timeline, the SI is a little bit, as you can see, look faster. If we go to a bit more compressed 422, this is XAVCS, XAVCS, Sony A7S III codec, as you can see. That's fine. Let's have a look at the 422 60 frames per second. 10 bit, full resolution, 60 frames per second, and it's actually playing it back 60 frames per second. That should be on the CPU. Look at that, no problem over here. Now this is HS420, uh, and this should be accelerated on the, yeah, look at that, iGPU, that's playing it back. Look how smooth this is. It's playing it back 50 frames per second, no problem. Timeline performance is very, very smooth. Very interesting, no problem over here. So any of the mirrorless camera footage, if you have this, it's very awesome because that iGPU actually frees a little bit of space for the uh, dedicated GPU to do other things because if the iGPU can play back these codecs, as you can see, the 420, 10-bit or 8-bit, it can be played. So it uses the iGPU that's built inside there, which is Intel UHD 750 uh, graphics inside there. So this looks like it's playing it back easy, this 4K. Red Raw 4K, timeline performance is extremely smooth. No problem over here. Canon C200. Now this should be a little bit of a cracker. Pressing play, this is half the resolution. Let's put it on full. Let's not cheat. Putting it full. Whoa. Okay. The CPU is maxed out and looks like, yeah, we're dropping some frames. So the timeline performance isn't that bad when we look in this at full resolution. If you put it to half, it's super, super smooth. So half the resolution is 2K. That should be like, you know, 1080p now, timeline performance. That's very, very, very good over here. If you if you don't play it back like full resolution, which means like it literally plays back that 4K, if you play it back, half the resolution let's go here we're gonna press play and it's doing a good job the cpu is still maxed out which means oh it goes back to 30 percent now now there you go it's it can do it so you can do it if you want to now this is a um, red raw 5k footage timeline performance is um so so like looking at the playback it's, it's all right. Let's press play, see what happens. Yep, at full resolution. We're dropping some frames. Similar situation as on Resolve. Resolve was struggling on this point as well for the uh, 5K footage. Let's have a look at red 6K footage at full. 
it's just the CPU so far here. Actually, oh, do you know what? The 6K Red Raw is smoother on Premiere Pro than on DaVinci Resolve. And I think on DaVinci Resolve, my timeline uh, like resolution was 1080p, whereas in here it's actually 6K. Look, 6K footage. And let's press play. It's dropping flame, frames, flames. It's dropping flames, yeah. The CPU is probably dropping flames. Yeah, CPU is maxed out 100%. GPU is not really doing anything. Canon R5 8K. Let's put it to a quarter of the resolution. Quarter of the resolution is, is fine. Okay, look at that. If it's quarter of the resolution, you can do it. Put it on quarter of resolution, press play, and you can actually uh, edit it. Is it is it playing back full resolution? Half the resolution, let's see. Thinking, thinking, thinking. Yeah, even half the resolution, we can't play it back. Never mind full resolution. Yeah, I would keep it on quarter if you want to do R5 8K resolution. 6K B raw. I expect this to be absolutely smooth as anything over here. Okay, these. This is a single 6K file. Oh. Whoa, let's not, let's put, let's put this full. Let's press play. Playback full, 6K footage. CPU is quite utilized over here. So this is the 6K two clips on each on top of each other. Let's press play. Looks like it can do it, just about. This is three 6K clips on top of each other. We're gonna press play. Okay, and it's maybe slightly struggling over here. Timeline before it's is fine, but when we press play. Red Raw 8K, let's have a look at this. Full timeline performance. I mean, this is actually, this is quite amazing. Like the timeline performance at full 8K resolution. Look at this, this is 8K. Look at that, 8,192 megapixels horizontally. So let's press play. I doubt it's gonna play it back. Okay. Yeah. It's not doing it at full resolution. Let's put it at half resolution and see what happens then. Half resolution, timeline performance. To be honest, it's quite okay. This clip here with the woman's face is a little bit harder to play back, but this motorcycle is quite good and the sharks are quite good as well. So let's press play in our half resolution. That looks like it plays back smoothly. CPU is still 100%, so we're giving everything it's got. All the six cores, 12 threads are doing as good of a job as possible. Uh, last of all, let's try uh, 12K over here. And this is a quarter of the resolution at the moment. And this seems quite smooth. Let's see what happens with half the resolution. Yeah, it's a little bit more choppy. Let's see if it can play it back half the resolution. Yeah, not so much. <laughs> Never mind full resolution. Let's see quarter. Yeah, look, it can play it back. Let's just put a random lot on here. So. Let's have a look. Quarter resolution with two LUTs. I mean, it's still struggling now. The timeline is okay. But the interesting thing is Lumetri color should be GPU accelerated, which means that this should be doing this a little bit. But see, it's not quite managing to play it back. It still goes on the CPU and can't quite play back. Take the effects off. Place it back smoothly, put the effects back on. And it still plays actually smoothly. No, not so much. So the conclusion here on 
Premiere Pro. Basically, if you do in 4K, you're gonna be fine at full resolution, but even at 4K, you know, maybe drop down the resolution a little bit, so it's not gonna be that, um, like, hard on the CPU. But also, the preview window is also quite small, so there's no point in playing back full resolution, but up to 4K, is gonna be doing fine. Any Cortex we threw at it really is fine. Above 4K, it starts to struggle, and it kind of makes sense because you've got a six core CPU. So hopefully this was helpful for you. If you want to check out the test setup, um, like benchmarks and specs, I'm gonna leave them in the description below. There's other videos about this whole CPU on the channel. So if you're planning to buy this, or if you want to get this, maybe in the Black Friday deals now coming up, this might be a good deal to get for some of the CPUs. Then for budget editing, budget editing station, it can be quite okay. Thanks guys for watching. If you have any other thing to add or comments, I'm gonna meet you in the comment section below. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.